Greetings, my friends. Today, I am going to tell you about what happened once on Christmas Eve. It's the time when we all expect miracles. And this story tells us about those miracles we can do by ourselves. It was Christmas Eve. In a small Russian village, excited children were playing in the streets. Down the street, shuffled a old shoemaker. He waved at the children as he made his way to his small shop on the corner. Everyone loved the kind old shoemaker. He went inside and set to work making and fixing the shoes. Work, 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 all the shoes to make, 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 everything to shine, 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 ready for the morning. Snip, 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 lots of things to cut, 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 then I have to tap, 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 ready for the morning. Meat, 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 never smelling sweet, 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 even in the morning. Stitch, 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 never getting rich, 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 still I always smile, 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 ready in the morning. One, two, three, four, another one gone, and another one gone, five, six, seven, eight, another five pair of shoes. The old shoemaker stopped and stood in the window of his shop. He listened to the squeals and laughter as the children played, but his thoughts were far away. He did not have a family, and on Christmas Day he would be all alone. He sighed, picked a big leather-bound book from a shelf, and rested in his big old chair. He ran his fingers along the lines of the book. It was the story of Christmas. He read how the wise men had brought gifts for Jesus, the best gifts they could offer. He scratched his head, looked around his little room, and thought, If Jesus visited me, what would be I able to give him? Then he settled back in his chair, pulled up his blanket, and the warmth made him drowsy. Outside, the children returned to their homes. A small group of children huddled together. 
They didn't have a warm home to go to. They did not have parents to care for them. They were orphans. Across the street, from the orphanage, the old shoemaker was snoring gently. Suddenly, he heard a voice in the room. Dear old shoemaker, you were wondering what you could give me. Tonight, I am going to visit your village. Look out for me. I shall not say who I am. <laughs> 